So we're going to take a little look at using the foam roller to release around the head, neck and shoulders, thoracic as well. Um, so I'm going to get you to come and sit on your mat, bring the roller behind you, just behind the shoulder blades. And if you were to move your arms up and down and tap your shoulder blades, your scapula on the roller, the pointy bits will just be tapping on either side. And we take a little moment here to release our heavy head into our hands. So interlace the hands, place them back behind the head. Allow the thumbs to go down the nape of the neck and wrap the elbows around in your peripheral vision a little bit. From here, we take a few big deep breaths, inhaling into the full of the rib cage and exhaling and softening into the roller, not necessarily over, but just back into it. Keep this lovely length in the back of the neck. Try not to let your head hang back just yet. Hammock it in the hands for me. Inhale and exhale. Feet are relaxed, pelvis relaxed. You can keep checking in with the lower part of the body. And then we're going to start to inhale and open up over the roller. So your head, your chin, your elbows, all of this stays in the same relationship to each other. And you're opening up through the front of you, through your facet joints at the front of you over the rollers so we don't let our head hang back it's still hammocked in the arms the elbows are wrapping and reaching up on those corner diagonals and you find your first edge your edge is where your breathing changes your body wants to hold the position it wants to maybe hold its breath it's find some feedback and we breathe here into the back of us the sides of us exhale soften and melt over the roller just a little bit more not necessarily even moving just that sensation that feeling of melting into the roller inhale and then exhale and soften and slide your breastbone roll your ribs and curl up and take a little peek at your knees like you would in a chest lift heavy head still back in the hands we inhale and yawn back over the roller, facet joints open, sliding apart from each other, fanning away. We go past our first edge and we maybe meet our second edge. Hang out here a little moment. Inhale, exhale, soften, wriggle. Long neck, relaxed jaw, heavy, heavy head now. And then on your next exhalation, again, slide the breastbone, roll the ribs, curling them back and up behind you to come up and take a peek at your knees. One more time, we inhale, opening up over the roller through the front of us. First edge, second edge, and we find our third edge. Hanging out here, a new feedback, further back, heavy head, soft ribs, Allow the body to meet the roller, to have a conversation with it, to figure out what it needs to do. It might melt even further back. The head, the neck, the shoulders, all still in relationship to each other. Elbows as well. They haven't moved out of sync or anything like that. Lovely long neck, heavy head. And, and exhale, soften, we slide the breastbone and roll the ribs, breastbone ribs, breastbone ribs, and that's what brings the heavy head back up through. We're then going to stand down into our feet, wrap the elbows around our head, and allow our pelvis to pick up off the mat. And then we're just going to roll that inch one or two times, checking into that area we've just been breathing into. You might need to go a little bit further. You might want to explore a little bit more in between the shoulder blades. You can really wrap those elbows around, get the shoulder blades, the scapula to move out of the way and take a little massage for you. Hang out in this as long as you want to. That's it. Attempting to stay on your mat as much as possible. Keep going. Having a little wriggle out. If you want, you could explore a little bit of rotation. Again, allow the head to be heavy. It's not leading this. You're exploring that space in between the shoulder blades with the roller. And then we bring the roller back to where it was, soften our pelvis down, heavy head in our hands. Inhale, yawn back over the roller. 
Notice first, second edge, even third edge. Feel really easy now to move through. And then exhale, soften, slide the breastbone, roll the ribs, curling up to take a peek at your knees. Then we're going to allow the roller to wriggle up in between uh, the nape of our neck and the mat. So you're coming to rest your head on the roller. It's right into the nape of the neck. Arms can relax by your side. Knees might even knock in a little bit and feet go wide. And you want to start to make small micro movements here. Have a little wriggle around. With how it feels to rest your head on the roller, which your body's probably telling you is not a pillow. So you respond to the roller first. And then you start to soften into it. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue, maybe even close and soften the eyes. And then bring the head back through the center, let it rest here. We start to move the head up and down, a very small, gentle nod with our nose. Noticing how we respond to the roller, how the roller maybe moves a little bit underneath us. Really gentle nod, up and down. Take your time, big, nice, big, deep breaths into the back of you where we've just been rolling and opening up, massaging into. And then we can take a little gentle look left and right. Now you're not going all the way to your right or your left. You're kind of going on to the diagonals with your gaze. And as you do, you'll notice you're loading down onto your occipital points at the base of the skull. And one may feel more tender than the other, and that's okay. That's often the case. But I'm going to stay out here on our left occipital point, so gazing to the left gently. I'm going to make tiny circles here, loading down into that occiput. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, nice soft breathing, really small little circles with your nose unraveling any tension all the fascia back there and then come back through the center hanging out on that pivot point at the top of the spine the base of the skull and then take a little look to your right and again tiny circles here with your nose probably going away from the body but your body and your head will know exactly what direction it wants to take its circles so it'll have a sense of how it wants to unravel and release. So follow that, go with it, explore what the body wants to do. And then come back through the center, heavy head, relaxed jaw, and let's make tiny circles here in the middle with your nose. I might barely see your head moving at all. Rolling back here, loading back into that pivot point, and then in the opposite direction, tiny circles with the nose and then come softly gently back through to stillness take a few big deep breaths for you and then when you're ready just push the roller out overhead up above you and lay your head back down onto the floor square the feet back off into parallel have a little wriggle into the back of you there that lovely long neck Often a bridge, stand down into the feet, roll the pelvis and open up. Use all that space back there as you're landing. And then lay yourself all the way back down. We curl around onto your side and we take a little look at our serratus. So here underneath the armpit um, and directly where we have our shoulder blade moving and connecting also engaging in order to help us lift things but control as well we have our serratus they can get a little bit tight a little bit sticky so we're going to come to lie on our side feet stacked on top of each other knee over knee hip over hip and bring the roller sort of into the armpit to begin with and hopefully this isn't feeling too tender already we then want to just take it just a little bit lower so i've cleared the top of my armpit a little bit and i'm here resting where the tip of my shoulder blade wraps in underneath the armpit. So 
we'll kind of find that area and you can play around with this sometimes it needs a little bit of movement we interlace the hands back behind the head again this elbow goes down onto the floor it stays there as our pivot point our head gently presses back into our hand and we yawn back over the roller just a little bit and then softly come forward i'm just going to wriggle until i find an area of feedback massaging into the fascia here around basically the scapula you might get a big clicker cut through your hip like i just did also moving in our twists like we would use in our book opening which are really nice but you do have feedback now underneath you relax the jaw the heavy head is back in the hands as you yawn through the serratus muscle and you might find something you want to hang out on feel free to do so nice and easy lovely it can get quite sticky great and then from here top leg just goes back you draw yourself up to seated and just pour that arm up overhead like you would do for your mermaid lateral flexion maybe bring the legs through into a crossed legged position and check out there this lovely yawn that you can now get this lovely side bend and space and a great way to check in is just to do the other side and notice how it feels in relation to the side you've just done. Good. So although we were rolling this way because the fascia is that way, um, we can release up and down into your lateral line by doing so as well. And our lateral lines often get quite ignored. No point in our daily life has a side bending so beautifully to reach for anything so it is something to check in with as we do the other side remember foot over foot knee over knee hip over hip underside hip especially interlace the hands back behind the head have a little wriggle up and down one side may be more tender than the other just be aware of that and soften the ribs we take our first yawn back yeah <laughs> and we might find some stuff already and you can just hang out in that you don't have to go all the way back or all the way forward. You might find an area that you want to breathe into. Your head is gently pressing back into your hands. Your hands have got the back of your head. They meet. And you can take the twist a little bit further. And you can have a small wriggle on anything that you find. Breathing into it, nice big deep breath. Finding ease, releasing the fascia, allowing the body to gather more space and fluidity. And you're hydrating the fascia as well by rolling over it, rolling through it as much as you need to. You can have a little explore. I'm just going to go a little bit lower. There's something going on there. Being right handed, my right arm, right shoulder always has a little bit more feedback we like to say not pain good make this your last one we don't have to hang out here too long we curl through hand comes down top leg presses back we come up into our z sit pour that arm up overhead oh that's better already maybe then just check in with your z sit with your z sit with your cross legged and allow the arm to come up overhead And the other way. Lovely. Finding that nice space. <sighs> Dragging out through the shoulders. That lovely space you've got now at the back of you and the back of the neck. How the shoulders can now hang down. Maybe we'll let the arms float up. Just checking in with how easy it is now to reach without the ribs getting involved or the shoulders getting involved. Great. And that's a very mini head, neck and shoulders for the roller. There's a lot more to come. Stay tuned.